everybody, I'm the Bigglesworth, and welcome back to Sev Tech Ages. Now I have done it. I think I've done it. I think I've successfully driven everyone who knew what was going on absolutely batty. Uh-oh, I got a freeze frame thing. So the first thing I have done is I went through and uh, there were several different comments that were talking about how to adjust the game and try to make it run more optimally. So the first thing I had done was I went and tried um, shutting off better foliage, which makes all these leaf blocks look all fancy and whatnot. Maybe, maybe you're new to Minecraft, you don't know what that means. So I'm going to show you if I can remember where it is. Let's see. Um, okay, F8. Enable mod. We'll turn it off. See how the leaf blocks look square? See how the grass is just like flat? Nothing going on? Better foliage adds all these little uh, details to the game. Let's turn it back on and I'll show you. So see how we've got like little bits of grass now and little pieces hanging off the side of the leaf blocks. That's what better foliage does. Now there was another thing going on and y'all might have noticed it. Um, I don't even know if it showed up here. Remember how the font looked different? Well, now it's back to tr traditional Minecraft. It was using something called Smooth Font, and Smooth Font seems to have been causing a little bit of lag. See, I'm running Optifine right now, and I'm able to open chests with absolutely no problem. No little freeze frames like we were getting. Now, right there at the beginning, you noticed as I looked, everything froze. I don't know if that was just the game loading chunks or whatnot. But I've been able to run around for a few minutes. I did a little bit of off-camera off testing just to see what would happen. Everything seems to be running a whole lot smoother. I'm getting quite a, quite a high rate of uh, frame rate and stuff like that. So maybe, maybe we fixed it. Maybe we've got everything functioning and going right. But the other thing is that I said I did it. This. I think that I have successfully driven most of the people who knew what should have been done absolutely insane. You're screaming and yelling at the screen, piggy, piggy, do this, piggy, do that. And then you got to wait till the next episode to see if I figured out. That's why I named the last episode Scream and Shout. Because <laughs> I figured everybody would be screaming and shouting at the screen. Because here's what's going on. So I started doing a little research on Tinker's Construct. I couldn't really find anything for uh, porcelain. Uh-oh, I'm getting just a little bit of stutter right there. Um, so it might be my recording software that's causing some of the issues. I also up my RAM to uh, 8 gigs of RAM instead of 6, so we'll see if that helps. But So I started doing some research on the porcelain setup, and I couldn't find anything. So I got to thinking about Tinker's Construct and how it works. And then something hit me. Something hit me in the face like a freight train. This. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like, really? Porcelain faucets can be used to... Could we please capitalize and put neon lights around this word right here? Extract. To remove. To pull from. To move from one place to another. <laughs> Wow. So I did not make a porcelain faucet. Now I can rem remember talking about making a joke about how to pronounce the word faucet. Faucet? Let's check the, the, the achievements. Was there anything in here that had me making a faucet? I don't, I, I looked around earlier and I didn't see anything. That was the only thing that I kept seeing. Maybe it was here? Oh my gosh, pour liquids onto the channel using a normal or porcelain faucet. So that's where I saw it. So once again, all the instructions are right here. So a channel is a great way to transport liquids from tanks and other sources. When placing down the channel, follow the arrow on top and right click to change directions or disconnect. Huh, I didn't see an arrow. Let's, let's look at the top and see what happens. Right click, set side to flow inwards, disallowed flowing by side, oh my gosh, disallowed flowing down, that is so cool, we could like, com we can like, d divert fluids and stuff, 
Huh, okay. So let's go ahead and remove this. You get out of here because you're apparently not the thing that we need. So I'm going to need to make some more porcelain. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over the the viewer um, comments. And then I'm going to make a quick little cut. That way I can just make some porcelain real quick. Make a faucet and we'll come back and do that. So to get to the comments. Right to the comments. So we've got Holy Lover. He said, ride the horse and touch your feet. Now, there was a thing over here that said something about emotes, but I haven't, I don't know if it disappeared when I did all of this uh, adjusting and testing or not. But see, I got on the horse. I, I don't know how to touch my feet now. I don't know. I can touch his feet, <laughs> but it won't let me touch my feet. And let's see here switch to F5 mode. I, am I touching my feet now? It looks like I'm touching, or I'm trying to touch my feet. My arms aren't long enough. That's what the deal is. My steed will wait for me. Yeah, we'll see about that. We'll see if you wait or not. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I trust you, sir. <laughs> you just hang out right there. Um, he also said uh, to search badge, not Faust, B A D G. Nothing comes up for badge, so I don't know if that's something that's going to unlock later. Or if you're trolling me, I don't know what's going on with that. And he also said, build a saw and put a log on it. So saw, saw, better with mods. Yikes. Oh my gosh. See, okay, so they want us to use bronze and plating. So we can't even build this stuff yet. So I'll definitely look into saws later. What is that? Flint saw blade, water-powered saw, needs water, running water, a flint hand saw. A bag of sawdust? I guess if you want to make somebody sneeze, you can throw the sawdust at them. <laughs> now, Dog Miner had said, craft a second atlas and leave it blank. Then craft it with your current backup copy, and you'll have a copy of your atlas. So we can make a copy of this. Now, the, it, that's a good idea. The only thing is, I've got the gravestone mod running, so I'm trying to figure out why I would need a copy of that. The only thing I can come up with is, if we were to fall in lava, we might lose everything, and so having a copy of that book might be important. So when I do the little edit to do the faucet, I'm going to go ahead and make another uh, atlas as well so we can have a backup copy. Now, he also said... Um, you can use the plumb bob to see how high up in the air you are. And we had done that on previous on, on uh, last episode. I just couldn't remember who told me. But see how we're two blocks up? Okay, so I'm going to right click and face. That's telling me I'm at Y level 69. So if I jump up here, it should tell me depth of 2 and I'm at Y level 71. Depth of 2 at Y. Okay, so the block that I'm facing, it's telling me it's 2 meters away, and the block I'm facing is at Y level 69, not myself. If I right-click standing here, that's weird. It keeps, maybe I have to, huh. Now it's going to act all crazy glitchy. <laughs> Okay, so we got we got a little uh, stuff to still mess with that and try and figure that out. And he also said, feed the owl eyes and it will follow you. Now there's a problem. So this is two episodes back. If you didn't see it, go back and watch it and you'll see what I'm talking about. But I had the owl and it was going to fly away. Every time I set it down, it tried to fly. So I decided I need to set this thing in a room where it can't fly away so I can build a cage for it. So here's what I did. I brought it down to right in here, and I set him on the ground, and then I started to dig out this wall so we could build a little uh, cage for him. Meanwhile, he tried to fly, and he got up. Huh, what do you see moving around? What is that? He flew right up here. Well, apparently this fire is giving off actual heat or something damaging, because as the owl got right up there, these little smoke particles made their way over there, and it killed the owl. The owl actually died. It kind of stinks. <laughs> not in there, not because of dead owl, but it just stinks that the owl died. So if we do see another owl, I'll, I don't know what eyes he means. Maybe spider eyes or something like that. Um, now, let's see. Night Song, M Night Song MTG said, hang the wind chimes from leaf blocks instead of... Um, from logs okay cool i have this area closed off so we could just go right over hey you and play your trumpet yeah i know what i need to check 
No, not you. You go ahead and play that funky music. Um, name tags. No, nope, we can't make name tags yet. Okay, well then you're safe, sir. Can I pick you up? I'm really curious to know if I can... Did he knock me back with his trumpet? Come here, you. Do it again. <laughs> it, it, nope. Yeah, it's not letting me pick him up. Okay, so wait, what does it say? If I squat, main hand trumpet. Oh, if you squat, it tells tells you what's in their main hand. Now, it's not hurting me, I don't think. It's just got knocked back. <laughs> that is hilarious. So we're going to come over here and look. See how we've got the chimes hanging on logs? So he said if I was to put, put these chimes on leaf blocks, they will play more often. And I kid you not, that looks like a pig. Oh, it is a pig face. Okay. <laughs> awesome. So we got a lot of comments about the hunting dimension, but I'm still going to save that because I really think that we want to do a full episode just dedicated to the hunting dimension because there, there appears to be quite a few things about the hunting dimension that are pretty cool that we can actually use it for. Um, so um, he also said that instruments have a cooldown, and that's why it was harder to finish the song, which is correct. I was playing a bunch of the same instruments over and over again over here to try and get the eagles, the parrots to convert to eagles, and it wasn't working because we just didn't have, we didn't have three drums like somebody else recommended that we should have done. So um, Julia58161 said to check the Ascatur settings because what she had told us was we could, we, wait, okay, we got to switch back over, make sure we got our rear view mirror, okay. Beep, 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 beep. The horse is supposed to connect, but it's not working. So she said, check the controls. Where are they? Options, controls. Can you search Escatur? Escatur, no. Toggle free, search, search key. No. That's not working either. Hmm. So let's see, let's scroll through here. We've got movement, gameplay. Inventory, uh, multiplayer, creative mods, miscellaneous. There we go. Action key. So R, R is not working for some reason. Is it saying that there's a conflict? Let's see here. Does Q get used for anything? Apparently. Uh, how about Z? Okay, Z is free. Awesome. So let's do this. Let's go back and hit the letter Z. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> that is the coolest thing in the world now can't uh, oh oh now we're really gonna get it all messed up so can the cart go up like mountains and stuff huh okay so yeah my steed's gonna wait for me you wait for me right there buddy we need to make it daytime because i have got to test something out here i have got to see this work yeah we know all the depth and all that stuff all the crazy stuff that didn't work so let's go over here. We need to make sure that this area is going to be clear for mobs because I need to make a three wide opening. Can you make it through the gate? Yes, you can. Come here, you. Get wrecked. I'll address that in a minute. There was somebody who made a comment, something about uh, mobs not understanding gates or something like that. V gates. Yeah. I'm starting to learn a little bit more German. <laughs> That's random. No, I've got, I've, uh, I've, uh, my wife found an app that teaches us how to learn different languages. When I was a kid, I actually lived in Germany. So getting a chance to, uh, refresh my brain as to how in the world I spoke German has been really fun. We've been having a lot of fun with that app. It, just in case y'all want to check it out, it's called Duo Lingo. I'll type it out for you. Now, I don't know if it works on, um, on PC or not. I know it works on my, my Android phone. Okay, so I want to see what this looks like going uphill. Let's swap over and do like that so we can actually see it. Okay, and the keys are reversed. So, okay, so it just like pops up the hill, but it stays level. That's interesting. <laughs> that is so cool. But that means that we could go adventuring and we could have like a whole bunch of storage space to take with us. So what does it look like when we hop off the horse? That is just so cool. That needs to be in Minecraft, except for the drift. It's like he was doing a race and it's drifting, but he's not moving, so it's somehow drifting anyway. 
So let's bring you back. Oh, no, you get away from those nasty evil plants. So thank you, Miss Julia. Oh, let's get away from the creeper. That's a really, really awesome little feature. And I tell you what, let's go ahead and put the cart right here. I wonder if the horse will... Yikes. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, we placed the cart on ice. So let's do this. Let's put this back, and then where's that gate? Nope, wrong spot. That's just going to let all the creepers in, isn't it? Boop, there we go. So will the horse not wander if it's hooked up to a cart? Because that could be a really great way to make the horse stay put. Um, let's see here. Uh, because... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm checking all the, the uh, different... Okay, somebody else had made a comment. I'll, I'll get to that later. That's... That's kind of weird. Now, can we get in and ride like this? No, but it, I guess it sees as some kind of forward momentum going or some kind of a little glitch or something. It's like a reverse horse carousel, you know, like you go, it, go to the Ferris wheels and, and the different uh, rides at a carnival and you get on the horse and it's like, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> this is where the cart goes around instead of the horse. <laughs> That's what's going on there. I'll tell you what, let's, just in case, let's get you inside where it's safe. Because because we know how things go. We know how life goes with us. Things could go wrong. So we're going to leave in here where it's nice and safe. But Julia, that was a really cool suggestion. I love that. Um, she also said, carry materials to make a quick buffalo totem when you go mining, which is a great idea. So we can use totems to give us uh, mining abilities to mine real fast. So you just go underground, find a vein of ore that you want to mine, build yourself a quick totem, and then mine like crazy because you've got the mining boost. So that would be cool. Um, she said mine a bunch of coal because it's going to be important. Make a crafting... Wait. Am I, am I looking at the right name? Yeah, okay, okay. She had a lot of stuff. Make a crafting table on a stick. On a stick. Crafting... It's like a little fly swatter. <laughs> Crafting table on a stick. We've got to try this. Let's see here. Where did I put all of the wood? I bet it's all just going to end up being over here. We got sticks at the, the fish net farm. So we're definitely going to check that. No. Oh, I've got wood over here. That'll work. So let's see here. We need a stick and then six pieces of wood and then four pieces of wood. So ten right you just stay there we can't use you for anything but for show so that and then let's build a sign here's your sign <clears throat> and i don't remember what if it's craft or shapeless crafting or not so we'll just click on this we'll do that and i can swap flies <laughs> right click oh my gosh Crafting on the go. We've got food on the go, and now we've got crafting on the go. Now, what I really need to see is, does this thing have some kind of a durability setting? Like, will it wear out over time? Let's do this. We'll do. We'll craft some half slabs of dirt. It does not have durability. Awesome. So we're always going to have a crafting bench with us wherever we go. That is really, really cool. Now, she also said to look at a market stall. Now, if I'm not mistaken, market stall... Is that it? Oh no, that's something different. Okay, market stall. I've seen one of those for a uh, Pam's uh, harvest craft. This looks like something different. Pan's flute, which I think we've made. Planks and then logs. Farming for blockheads. So I tell you what, well, I'll go ahead and use the flute that I've got because we can always make another one. If I'm not mistaken, that was really easy to make. That was probably the first instrument that we made. Okay, Pan's flute. And then what did it say? Uh, just some planks and then logs. So I've got planks over at the farm. Let's go over here and grab some logs. And I just love jumping. It makes you move quicker. Now the question is, are we going to kind of get stuck where it says, Aha, uh -huh, you are not using the right kind of logs. I tell you what, let's do this. Let's play it safe. What was it? Three, four, five? Five or six, I think. I think that's going to be enough logs. That's six logs. And you know what? Let's do this. Let's just craft it. Are there sticks over here? Nope. Get your... There you go. 
okay, we got to go back over here for the sticks, but we're still going to use crafting table on a stick. <laughs> it almost sounds like a, a a food item that you would buy on the side of a, a side of the road a, at a carnival. Look, so we've got a carnival thing going on. We've got the horse and his uh, carousel, and then we've got uh, we got uh, crafting tables on sticks that you can get. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what are we missing? Planks. Okay, so... One, two. There we go. All right, back out. There we go. Awesome. Let's see what this does. A market. This little piggy went to market. Not yet. Wait, if I have a spot and I place this down, will that market? Oh, look, we got puns going. <laughs> Oh, almost want to build another one just to see that happen. Swapomatic. Hello, Swapomatic. How did you just fall from the sky? Oh my gosh. Right click. What is this? Cost one gold. Oh my gosh. We can sell. Can we sell stuff? So we can get a hold of different uh, seeds. Oh my gosh. We could get all the saplings instead of having to search for them. 24 monolith stone. Wait, I've got a I've got a sampling right here. Can we sell that? No selection. Nope. Okay, so Aww. apparently we can buy stuff with it, but we have to get gold ingots. So we'll have to figure out gold. That is oh my gosh, that was hilarious. <laughs> oh man. Just a villagers falling from the sky, I tell you what. Let's get some more food here real quick. Um, no, 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 pig. Get out of here. You didn't see that. <laughs> you saw my crafting table on a stick. Where did your lead go? Did you snap it and break it? I've already lost one of these because the pig followed me around and I didn't, I didn't fix the lead. So it despawned. You get over here. Wait a minute. I lead you to here. I think I clicked on the hopper. Let's get over here. Let's get away from you. So we can stuff our face with the nom 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 nom. There we go. Nice. Okay, now, um, okay, so Hatters said to hit F9 at a sample and dig down to the Y level it lists. Normally the ore is going to be in a chunk corner. Let's see here. We've got our weak dowsing rod. Okay, so let's go over here. Um, you know what? Let's go back. We actually need our adventures book for this because we marked out a few spots in last episode where there's going to be some uh, some ore. And let's go ahead and take the sleeping mat as well because it looks like the sun's about to go down. So, okay, directly north of us looks like a, an ore deposit. So we can go check this out. And um, let's see, who else? I think... It, Hatters had said it, and it looks like Cart Auto did as well. So we'll go over here. I think Cart Auto gave us just a touch more detail than Hatters did. But they both did a really good job. Okay, so we're right here. We're looking at Azurite samples. Where's F9? We hit F9, and we see all these red lines, which apparently is showing us chunk borders. So we actually, we actually found this before, but we did it by accident. So get the hammer out of here. Sleeping mat. Oh, no, I don't want to set this as my spawn, so we'll right-click and turn that off, but let's go ahead and sleep. I'm not trying to sleep. I'm using Duolingo. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see here. Normally, it's in a chunk corner, so we've got four corners to choose from, right? Um, Kerr Auto had said ore samples let you know that an ore is in that chunk. So this sample's not saying the ore is right here. It's saying it's in this chunk, okay? And he said that uh, the desert is the easiest place to find ores because there's no grass. Now, I can't remember who said it, but they said they think that it's usually in a corner and in a southwest corner. So this is south, and looking at the map, the left side of the map is going to be west. So let's, okay, so that's west. Go west, young pig. So what they're telling us, apparently, would be there's a sample here. This is a corner. So let's go over here. And according to the information, the azurite should be somewhere in this corner right here. So what Y level does azurite appear at? Does it tell us here? 
Click on that. Click on that. Huh. I can't remember. There was something that was going to tell us what Y level. Maybe it was in the uh, the achievements. Teolite and Kesserite. Malachite Azurite is from Y12 to 52. And this dowsing rod looks 48 blocks down. And we are at Y level what? 70. So that would get us down to 38. So it's possible that this could find nothing of interest up to 48. So it's still going to tell us that there's nothing interesting around here. But let's do this. Let's dig down just a little bit. If it's up to 40... Now, is it saying 48 blocks away or up to level 48? Let's see. We've moved a few blocks down. Up to 48 blocks away is, I bet, what, what it's saying. So let's just keep digging down a little bit. We might end up having to pillar back up out of this. But this is also, for, for you newbies here, this is the safe way to dig down. You straddle two blocks. You dig to your left and make sure it's clear. You dig to your right and make sure it's clear. And if you notice, I can't fall down. So if I was to uncover like lava or something, I would be safe. So let's see here. Let's check that. There's nothing of interest. And I don't think it looks diagonally. So that's not going to work exactly the way I thought it would. But it's better than just digging tunnels and searching, searching forever, right? We'll use some of this slate and get up out of here. Keep going. Let's see, what else do we got? Boop, we'll cap it off because we know how piggy rolls. I'll just fall right down there. <laughs> so let's swap over. Nope, nope, we're not playing, uh, we're not trying to play Tron here. There we go. All fixed and good. Awesome. Now, there are a bunch more comments that were made between the last three episodes, but I'm saving them. Now, last episode, I didn't get to any comments because we derped out. I'm going to go over here and show you why. But I've got enough comments saved up where next episode I can address some more. So that's going to be really cool. So let's come over here. Come over here to this here spot. And it's time to make an edit. Because I need to go make myself some porcelain to make a faucet. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this book as well if I've got the ingredients for it. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and take care of those two things real quick off camera just so it's not boring to watch. You, uh, we'll, we'll have another episode of a uh, cart on ice <laughs> eventually, but you guys just hang tight. I will uh, make a quick edit and I'll meet you right back over here. All right, everybody. And as promised, we are over here just about ready to go. So look, Atlas, Atlas, porcelain faucet. Yes. So let's see here. Let's see if this is going to solve all of our problems. Right click. Now, if I right-click this, it should pour uh, the, what's in there? Molten copper. It should pour the molten copper into here. Look at it go. Oh, my gosh. Yes, that's exactly what we were doing wrong before. So let's go ahead and get our stone mallet ready. Because what I think we're supposed to be able to do is once this block cools off, let's see, can we see how long until it cools? If we squat, no, it's not showing us, so we don't see... The amount of time it takes to cool off i'm going to assume that little glitch what yep okay so we're going to place that block there can we right click it or do we left click it oh we hold down right click okay awesome and it gave us nine copper ingots now i gotta remember what in the world was was oh we were trying to make the hammer the hammer time so we can build that so let's swap over here use the alloy kiln to produce bronze ingots, engineer's hammer to create the structure. That's what we need to do. So let's see here, an engineer's hammer. Recipe's too large, I know, but we need two sticks and a piece of string. I've got the sticks. We should have some string over here at the, uh, the fish farm area. So we'll just take a little hop, skip, and a jump right over here. And if we don't, you guys have got enough wool that we should be able to get us some more string. Let's see. I don't see any string in there. No string in there. Okay, so we'll just have to go through the process. Went ahead and made me some flint shears. I think those bone shears were just about worn out. And you know what? Since we're here, might as well just go ahead and snip them all. 
That way we can get the maximum amount of string out of this. And then we'll come back later and snip you guys some more. So we'll do that. Let's go and get our work blade. And we should be able to convert white fleece. Okay, fleece, not wool. Nice. Straight into string. Love that. And let's go ahead and put, put that right there so we don't have to go searching for it. So, crafting table on a stick. Please help us make the engineer thing. Nice. Engineer's hammer. I guess this is I guess this is what you use to motivate engineers when they don't want to work properly. You get your hammer. <laughs> so do I left or right click? Right click. Awesome. And now we've got a brick kiln. That's cool. I didn't get an achievement for it. I guess I got it when I placed it down. Right click with an engineer's hammer to create the structure, and now we're getting two different splitted split points. Brains over bronze. Use the alloy kiln to produce bronze ingots. So what what do you need to have to make bronze? Oh, a bunch of crazy looking stuff. A bronze ingot. There we go. Not casting. Alloy. So to make a bronze ingot, we need to have three copper and one tin. Or three copper and ten Dust looks like. Is there anything else? Copper grit and tin ingot or copper grit and tin dust? Hmm. So, let's see. We have copper ingots. We've got that. A molten bucket, but I can't make buckets yet. I don't think I can. I think I can. A bronze block will let us convert. See, that's kind of strange, though, because I think if you put that block... Shouldn't you be able to put that block in your crafting interface and just uncraft it? Maybe they made sure that doesn't work. Okay, so I've got the copper ingots. We have to find tin. Was tin one of the... Is that say tin? Dig for tin. Located it wide. Okay, called cassiterite or tealite. Note, surface samples will unhide in already explored areas. Hmm. So we might have to go looking around for a desert just so that we can find enough ore samples on the ground to figure out cassiterite or tealite, because I've not seen that anywhere. In all the traveling around that I've done, I've yet to see it. Now, it's possible that I've run right past it, but I just didn't notice it. So we can't do that yet. An altered state. Capture demonic will to, cap to build a blood altar? Okay. Who is demonic will? <laughs> Let's see. Blood altar. What is that? Not too jazzed about having to do that kind of stuff. Blood altar will let us... Okay, bronze. Wait. Are we supposed to be making bronze alloy? What is this? Copper. Yes. Yeah, so we're just going to have to make a bronze alloy just to make that. Blood magic, alchemy, wizard, demonic will. An imprint of a demonic entity attached to a creature can be obtained by killing a mob with a sentient weapon. Or by throwing a snare at a mob and killing it while it has white particles. So what is this snare thing it's talking about? I think I'd actually, like, found a snare thing before, right? Snare. Tin. Oh, ash. How do you make ash? Unfamiliar item, unfamiliar item. Wait, oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of... Eucalyptus. Okay, if we put the, the log onto a grill so we can make the ash, so that shouldn't be too big of a deal. We got the string. Still got to find tin. We're at tin it seems to be the bottleneck now. What is that? Porcelain. I, I thought for maybe a second. Just maybe. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm going to do. All this junk in the trunk needs to be taken out. We need to get all the... I'm going to build some chests so I can clear this thing out. And we're going to have to have one more edit because i got about six or seven minutes left that I can have in the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one more quick edit. I'm going to empty this out so that me and Mr. Horse can go running around. We're going to go in a southerly direction. Down this way. And hopefully we'll find warmer and warmer climates down here. Maybe we can find ourselves a desert. So if we can find ourselves a desert, that will be awesome because then we can try and see if we can find some of this ore. So I'm going to do one more quick edit, and I hope to meet you in a desert. 
All right, everybody, check this out. So I was riding over the hills, minding my own business, trying to find a, uh, trying to find a desert. And we happened upon this area right here. So I went ahead and cleared out all the grass and turned on the F9 button so we could see where the chunks are. Found a whole bunch of tea light samples over here. Like I said, I must have been like riding past areas and not noticing stuff, but we we're over, you know, the azurite and salt is over there. We made our way through here to get to the um, savanna area before. I guess I just wasn't looking for it or paying attention. But we're going to go ahead and set ourselves a marker right here. And let's make it with a pickaxe. T-light. Not T-heavy, T-light. <laughs> So then the next thing I did was I started using my dowsing rod and I'm just clicking and clicking and not finding anything. And then I realized something. Okay. So watch, I'm going to scroll off of it. Watch the bottom of the screen. See how I'm now over the dowsing rod. When I click it, watch what happens. See that whiteness that like goes down. That's a cooldown time. So I'm just walking through clickety, clickety, click, but I'm only actually checking a block, every one, like right there, I just checked two blocks within about six. So that's probably why I wasn't finding stuff earlier. But using the rule of checking the corners and checking the southwest corner, so we're facing south, and on our map we can see we're now facing, is that east? That would be west. So we're going to check over here. Nothing of interest. There's nothing over here, okay? So I went over here and checked the southeast corner. Found teal light. Eight. 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 So there's a whole bunch of teal light right in here. Now I've also seen this. I'm, I'm not going to show you because it's going to be a waste. But if I right click this uh, ore sample with the dowsing rod, it turns it into a stick. But if I left click it and break it, I actually get some teal light ore. I think it's tea light ore. Let's double check. Or does it convert to 10 ore? 10 cluster. So I've got five of them. Nine of them is going to give me nine, nine ingots? I can't remember. I think it's three is going to give me one ingot. I, I don't remember. My brain's shutting down now. But where was it? This corner. <laughs> this corner right here. Now it said... It said eight. What I don't know is, is it telling me, is it telling me eight blocks down from here there's tea light, or did it find eight blocks of tea light? So let's see. Our plum bob says that we are at Y71. So Y71 minus eight should be 63, right? So let's let's straddle a block so we don't get hurt. Okay, that's already. Not dirt, so where is the pickaxe? I did, didn't I? Mm-hmm. I put a whole bunch of stuff in the cart just so I didn't have to carry it, and now I end up needing to carry it. So let's go ahead and unload all this junk because we don't need all that mess. And I think my pickaxe is going to be okay. You know what? Let's take a stick. One, two, three. Let's go ahead and take some cobble and our crafting table on a stick just in case. Let's, let's be Boy Scout about this and be prepared. Okay, so, one, two, three, one, two, three, and we already went down two blocks, two, three, four, five, so three more, one, two, three, one, two, three, so that was eight blocks down. Now it found nine T-Light. So I think what it's doing is it's telling us the, um, not the Y level, of where the ore is, it's telling us how much of the ore it found. So we're going to get down here and see what this ore looks like. Now, if it follows the pattern, when we found the the azurite, it had like a bluish color to it. So I bet this is going to look kind of like the azurite uh, ore blocks, but instead it's going to have like a yellowish kind of color to it. Wow, we've almost torn through our pick just trying to get down here. What Y level are we at? Let's check. Level 46. Okay. So it shouldn't be too much farther down. Because I think, what is it supposed to be like between level 15 
to level uh, 50 or something like that. I, I don't want to stop and check my uh, advancements page to see what it tells me. Because we're going to burn up time just trying to dig down here. What is this? Is this salt? It's marble. Okay, where are we at? 34. That stuff's really far down in the ground, isn't it? Ooh, tea light. Yes. Air 404. We found the tea light. Now, the other silly thing I did is I didn't bring the, the totem stuff so that I could uh, get over here and, and, and mine this stuff like crazy. So it's a good thing we marked the spot. X marks a spot for Piggy. Wow, there is a big vein of this stuff right here. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to mine out a whole bunch of this stuff and take it back to the to, to the chateau so that we can smelt it. But I'm going to do that next episode. I know, I know. I hear everybody rioting and screaming right now. No, Piggy, no. I want to see you smelt it. I want to see what you're going to build. Well, guess what? They tell you in the entertainment business, always leave them wanting more, right? <laughs> So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be down here mining my own business. Get that? Oh, but I'm ching. Look at that. <laughs> Gathering up as much tea light as uh, this pickaxe and one more pickaxe will allow me to do. And then next episode, we're going to meet back over at the chateau so we can smelt this stuff and start doing some more advancements, checking out more viewer comments, and all kinds of ludicrousness. So if you enjoyed this video, please click that like button. And if you want to see more of these and you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Remember, I've got all videos for the entire channel are busted up into playlists. So if you will go check the main channel on YouTube, or if you'll check uh, the description or cards that pop up on screen, it's going to lead you to all the different playlists you can see. I think at this point, I've almost hit 400 videos on the channel, which just blows my mind. So there's all kinds of stuff to watch, not just modded, but all kinds of crazy series. Oh, excuse me, series and collabs and everything. So if you enjoyed it, go check it out. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out as stuff is released. I'm going to keep mining. I'm going to break a pickaxe, so I'm going to craft another pickaxe and start mining some more. And I hope to see you in the next episode.